Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwiconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to implement a snapshot fact. For this particular example, we are considering a customer fact of type daily snapshot fact. In this example, we are considering we are having a uh, field in the source customer table called credit balance and with any modification of the credit balance, we need to maintain those uh, uh, changes, we need to maintain those incident that has happened and we need to track them in our uh, target fact table and in case for those customer records which are existing but doesn't have any modification to the credit balance, we need to capture the last existing snapshot available to us and populate it on a daily basis to our snapshot fact table and let's check the implementation in SAP data services. This is how our job looks like. In the initialization script, we have taken care of the extraction date. So in using a global variable and a batch load control table, we can track what was the last date of extraction. Using that glo uh, global variable in the data flow, we are extracting from the source customer table only those records which are whose last updated date is greater than the last day of extraction. Next, this is the column we are interested in credit balance. So consider a case when a new customer record comes in the source. We will capture that in our target fact table for this today's load with the today's date key. Along with that, if any existing customer have any changes in the credit balance, so in that case, the last updated date will be modified and we can fetch that record, extract that record from the source and we will get the corresponding credit balance for that particular customer. And in case those customer whose credit balance have not changed and the last updated date has not been modified, we will not get those records and for that, we need to fetch those records from the last snapshot available with us. So in this case, we have used one temporary table called customer fact temp. This table actually holds the all the customer status of the credit balance corresponding to the last day of extraction with the last day's date key. So we need to use this table as one of our alt another source and we, we need to perform a full outer join. So after we have done the extraction from the source, we are using a query transform with a new function called to a lookup, which is a customer dimensions uh, type 2 table and we are getting the customer key in return. So let's check the uh, function call. So we are passing the source customer ID, which is the source signature key along with the active flag as Y for those records active in the dimension table and we are getting the corresponding surrogate key return from the dimension table. Next, we are populating the date key, which is the YYYY MMDD format of the sys date, that is the today's uh, load date. Next, after that, we need to perform a full outer join. In data services, we are performing a full outer join using two query transform, a march transform followed by a query transform with a distinct clause. So in this first qu query transform, we are taking the source table as the left table and the fact tab temp table as the right table and performing a left outer join based on the customer key. We are considering the, this output column, the source customer key coming from the source date key, credit balance, load date. Accordingly, this columns target customer key, target date key, credit balance, target load date is coming from the temporary fact table which contains the last days of data for all the customers pertaining to that last day's date key. Now, when a new customer comes in, this record will be coming from this, uh, this column will get populated and in that case, since we are performing a left outer join, target customer key will get a value of null. And in case when both the customer keys is present, means a modification was performed, a modif uh, customer is having a modified credit balance, so it will come from the source table as well as since we are having a matching with between the customer keys, we will get a corresponding credit balance of the last day's load. Similarly, we are using another query transform and performing a join. In this case, we are considering the customer fact temp table as our left table and the source customer table as our right table and performing a left after join based on the customer key. Similarly, in the, this case, we are performing the same, we are getting the same columns, the source being pop, uh, mapped with those corresponding coming from the source and the target being mapped to the temporary fact table. So in this particular case, let's consider a customer 
record doesn't arrive from the source there is that is there is no modification for the customer record coming from the source so in that case we need to bring in those records customer records that are not coming from the source and the last status what we have available in our last days load we will get from this flow and so in it in this case we will get the target customer key with a valid value whereas the source customer key will be populated with null since we are performing a left outer join after that we are using a merge transform which performs a union all next we are using a distinct clause in a query transform and populating all the columns accordingly finally we are formatting the record we need to consider that based on if the customer key is coming from the source then we need to populate that customer key else we need to consider the target customer key so in this case we are considering that if the source customer key is coming as null that means the this record we need to fetch it from our customer fact temp table for the yesterday's load or the last day's load according uh, similarly the date key is coming from the source because we are going to populate the snapshot fact on today's date so the date key is coming from source which is nothing but the yyyy mmdd format of sys date followed by the credit balance so if the source customer key is null then we will get the credit balance from the target that is the customer fact temp table else we will get the credit balance coming from the source and load date which is the system date and finally we populate it to the final fact table which is a customer facts table which is a snapshot fact table and it is loaded on a daily basis and this one is the customer fact temp which keeps the data of today's load so this is the delete and load table so every day the record will be deleted and loaded and it will keep the last days or uh, uh, date keys uh, status of all the customers loaded today and finally we have a catch block to handle some exceptions in the data flow or in the job and finally we have the final script which will take care which will take care of the batch load control table it will mark the status uh, success in case the job runs fine this is how we implement a snapshot fact table in sap data services if you have any questions please visit dwbiconcepts.com thank you